manufacturers are always looking for a better way to create a product to help your game. But much like you would need to know the difference between a sports car and a pickup, there are so many different options today between plastic, resin, dough balls, shiny balls, RG's differentials, there's a vast array of options out there. Rod's gonna help you determine which ball type is best for you. Now that we understand the phases of ball motion, let's get into the equipment and selection and matching up for you. In front of me I have three high performance bowling balls from different manufacturers. As you can see, I have a dull one here on my left, kind of a medium finish on one in the center, and a highly polished one on the right. These three balls will give me distinct different motions going down the lane. Remember we talked about that first phase, but it was skid. This one will give me least skid. This one will give me the maximum skid. So if you're a player that is on the slower speed, you probably want to be looking at a ball that's a little shinier so you can get the ball down the lane. On the other end, if you're a player with very high speed or high RPMs, you probably want to get a ball that's going to get into a roll a little bit sooner. The key is, is getting the ball to match up to you. Even though these balls come this way from the manufacturer off the shelf, we recommend that you fine tune them to match up to your game. You can change the surface on these balls. We can take this bowling ball down and make it similar to this one, or even almost all the way down to here. On the same end, we can take this ball and shine it up. So you can fine tune these balls after you purchase them to match up to your game. Just because they came that way from the manufacturer does not mean they're the best for you. Bowling ball cores or bowling ball dynamics. The engine or the inside of the bowling ball has a lot to do with the motion the ball is going to be doing down the lane. Please remember, the surface of that bowling ball dictates the distance that you're going to be doing the skid and controlling when the ball grabs. The core is going to dictate the motion it does when it starts to change direction. On my left here, I have what's called an asymmetrical. An asymmetrical is the ball core is not exactly the same all the way around. Think of it as a mug with a handle on the side. It's not going to be the same. On my right, I have a symmetrical. It is going to be just like that Coke bottle or that Pepsi bottle. It's going to be exactly the same all the way around. These two will kind of give you slightly different motions. Inside here in the middle, I have two cores. I have a very large core and I have a small core. The small core creates what we call a lower RG. It's going to be more center heavy. To my right here, I have a large core. The weight's going to be closer to the outside of the shell. How that relates to bowling is that if you took an ice skater and an ice skater is, has their arms out, they're spinning slightly slow. As they pull their arms in, they start spinning faster. This would be the ice skater if their arms out. This would be the ice skater when they pull their arms in. The key is, is matching it up to your style and your game. Your local pro shop operator can help you make the proper choices.